Hey guys, this is Reggie from ReginaldJennings.com. I just wanted to follow up. Um, recently, some of my clients have been wanting a cloud-based backup solution. So I've been um, evaluating several online packages um, that meet their needs. And I must say, Code 42's Crash Plan Plus is on the money. Not only is it affordable, it's efficient, and it, it gets the job done. Um, as you can see here on the screen, this is the Crash Plan um, Council. Once you download and install it to your workstation, um, right away, it pretty much is you know set up just like this. You know, looks just like this. Um, as you can see here, I have been backing up. Um, it looks like the last backup was three minutes ago, but um, I have this set to back up. You know, as you know, probably every 15 to 20 minutes it checks to see if any revisions of the files I selected below have changed and then of course if they have changed it backs it up um, of course this is what we call an incremental backup so after your first full backup of all your files it just looks for the revisions or changes that happen um, so I, I just think it's just such a great product um, especially you know you know how affordable it is I mean the type of plan I have is called the crash plan plus um, family unlimited which means that I can have up to 10 devices on my plans backing up to the, the crash plan central server um, and then of course if I need to I can restore um, files or actually backup files across each other so without further ado let's just get into the product like I said this is the crash plan plus council um, when you first download and install the application you want to click change here and of course go through you know selecting the files you want by default it will select everything in your user folder um, if you have files outside your user folder especially if you're using Windows 7 um, you know for XP it will probably be documents and settings um, for Windows 8 is users as well which this is Windows 8 compatible um, you just want to make sure you go and of course select the different files you want um, and you know especially if you have different partitions as you can see I have a, I have a deep partition and some of my files are residing on that section there so just make sure that you select your files that you want to be backed up now this is a, a file level backup which means that it can back up practically your entire system but it's only is only backing up the files of it so if you were looking for an image based backup solution this is not your option so I recommend selecting your important files such as your documents your file you know your music your videos those items like that that are important to you not the Windows directory or temp directory because as we know in a, in a in disaster once we reinstall the operating system we are more concerned about our files the next step here um, after you actually select your files it will go through this process of, like I said looking um, calculating how many gigs um, your data is as you can see here I have about 14 gigs and then of course it will go through his, its first initial backup now be mindful the more you back up the longer it takes to back up 14 gigs for me um, I'm running a, um, a cable connection it took me probably a little over six seven hours and like I said after that it just looks for revisions which makes it more robust and of course quick when backing up one of the things that I really love about this solution um, you know especially at a home level is the ability to recover files um, different revisions of your files example is um, as you can see here in the restoration section I have the option to select which files restore files for computers so like I said because it's a family pan I have multiple machines I can actually select one of my machines that are, are synchronizing um, to, to crash plans plus server and of course download and retrieve those files to my machine so that's that's awesome but um, back to the revision um, the versions of the files if you select one of your files that you're missing um, and you wanted a particular revision of it you can actually say I want to either restore the most recent version of it or depending on how long you've been backing up with crash plan I've been backing up with them since October I can actually go back to October and grab that version of the file which to me that is awesome um, anybody that um, that does a lot of writing and of course you know just creating media or data you know understands you know how important that is to be able to just recover your last revision of your file and I just think that's such an awesome thing um, with the settings these are just the standard settings as you can see here it's set right now when the user is away uh, and not active for 15 minutes it will actually go ahead and start its um, 
this backup process of checking my files. Um, depending on if I'm, you know, doing some major work or such, it will hold off until my machine is idle or um, when, of course, as you can see here, my, my CPU, um, of course, falls into these, you know, parameters. Um, as you see here, the backup will always run. I have it um, verified selection every one day at 3 a.m. if my machine is on. Um, the frequency and versions, this is just what I was talking about for the restore section. I said check a new version every 15 minutes. I want you to keep um, versions to keep last week. You know, these settings right here are pretty much, um, you know, if you wanted it to have more versions or less versions of your files, these are what you adjusted. As you can see here, um, I have it set to default settings, so I don't even touch these items. But if you wanted to make some adjustments, you could do it here. Um, with my account, you know, this tells you right away I, I am part of the Crash Plan Plus family unlimited monthly subscription. Um, if I wanted to, let's say if I wanted to use this for work purposes, they do have a corporate version, but um, even for my home machines, if I didn't want anyone to tamper with the application, I can put a security password on it so when you try to open the app or try to modify, it will prompt you for the password. As you can also see here, the type of encryption settings that it also has for your backups backing up to their server. You know, you have the 448-bit encryption. You can have the encryption with password, or you can have the encryption with a custom 448-bit key. So I mean, it, this this particular crash code 42 just gave you the whole shebang. Um, you know, especially for a small application that's very affordable compared to Carbonite and um, Norton Backup Online. You know, this is you know this is right here. You know, very affordable, very robust, and with the features, I mean, hands down, this is the option you should be going with when you're looking for a cloud-based backup. Um, of course, this is the section for your network. Um, if you're having some connection speed issues, or if you wanted to limit this application to only use X amount of your bandwidth, you can adjust those settings here. Um, as you can see here, the history section shows you every time I'm backing up. Um, when it checked last, um, one great thing I, I love about the solution is I have um, with my family pan and I set this up for my family machines because um, I have siblings that are in college and such. When their machines don't back up, like um, I get an email alert saying, "Hey, listen, you need to check the backup on this machine." And I'm just saying, all these different features and functions packed into this affordable product, you know, why not? You know what I mean? You know, easily I'll call my, my siblings up. Hey, listen, your backup is telling me it hasn't ran. And, you know, I get to check it. And, you know, you never, you know, have the ability of forgetting, oh, is my backup running because it's doing it for you? And then, of course, if it's not doing it, of course, you get an email alert. So this is just so awesome. Um, underneath the friends section here, if you wanted to invite a friend um, to be able to back up their files and synchronize the files between machines, you can do so as well. And then in the destination section here, you have the ability to um, select, you know, where you want to back up to. You can back up to an offsite um, option as well as as well as a cloud base. So you can do the, the CrashPan Plus central server and then a local hard drive that the, that you have connected to your machine, which I think is awesome as well. You can also do it to a friend, and of course, between your machines, um, considering the type of plan that I have, this option is available. Um, the standard option, um, the standard plan doesn't have this option enabled. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, CrashPan Plus Code 42's um, CrashPan Plus Cloud Place Backup, I mean, is the most affordable, you know, efficient and effective backup, cloud based backup solution I have tested thus far. Um, and like I said, I just love the different features from restoring multiple versions of my files, being able to restore a file um, from another machine to my computer. Um, you know the email alerts when the backups aren't running you know um, and just of course the unlimited space online you know especially for ten dollars a month you know come on um, if you have any questions comments concerns or if you need help setting this up feel free to give me a call or email me at reggie at reginaldjennings.com or give me a call 860-515-8127 and I'll be more than happy to you know help you get your crash plan up and running for a small fee of course um, just so that you're, you don't have to worry about your files being backed up um, or doing a local backup yourself. All right, take care.